is a, a sign of uh, more and more infections. Th that is actually what it is. It is actually more infections. That's why we are reporting them. It's, it's, um, it's higher and it's expected. As we said earlier, a more than a month ago, we took a month, a month ago when people are saying, Kenyans were demanding that we open uh, the place up and we seize cessation of movement a month ago. We said no, because we wanted to have two things happen. One of them is county preparedness, and the other one, one of them is uh, county preparedness, and the other one has to do with education of people, education of Kenyans, so that uh, they understand the implication of what is going on, what they must do in order to protect themselves. Because the question is, if you lock up another one month and another one month, what is the additional asset you are adding, you are, you are adding to the country? Is another month and another month going to make Kenyans more and more aware? Which Kenyan is not aware now? Who is going to be more aware in another 30 days? And I would like to imagine that there is a limit. There is a time that comes. And we said it. And we said we are going to have more increase. We are going to have increased cases, particularly if we, take, if we don't take personal responsibility and protect ourselves. Um, I had a question, I think it's Dokas who spoke about um, uh, PPEs. We have got more, more PPEs at the moment that we need. So it's a question of individual hospitals and individual units ensuring that um, they have got them. We have not received any information from the Nairobi uh, management, the hospitals in Nairobi. That is the first time I have ever heard of anybody saying that there is a hospital in Nairobi that doesn't have PPEs. Even Nestor here has PPEs. So there is no issue, as far as we are concerned, of uh, PPEs lacking. We have got more than enough of PPEs. Um, there is the issue of um, 